developmental networks. Today we are going to look at a hypothetical development network. This pathway leads to the formation of spikes in certain cells of the ectoderm of spiny beetles. However, not all cells in the ectoderm of these beetles have spikes. Some are smooth. We're going to look at the reasoning behind that and come up with a hypothesis today. Now, this is our pathway. So we're starting with S or the blue fairy that stimulates or activates the red fairy P, that stimulates or activates the green fairy I, who inhibits Maleficent at K. Now, Maleficent normally inhibits the Prince Charming at E, but the green fairy stopped her. So Prince Charming is able to stimulate Princess Aurora to make spikes. Now, this isn't always the case. Sometimes there's a mutant strand. For example, if there was a mutant P, P would be removed, not able to stimulate I or the green fairy, so she would not be able to inhibit Maleficent. So Maleficent would inhibit the Prince Charming and he would not be able to stimulate Aurora and there would be no spikes. So we're gonna write P minus in the no spikes column. Now, if there was a mutant I, I, or the green fairy, would be removed, and she also would still not be able to inhibit Maleficent, so Maleficent would once again inhibit Prince Charming from stimulating Aurora, and there would be no spikes. So I minus goes in no spikes. Now let's look at a mutant pathway that has two parts removed. If I, or the green fairy, is removed, she can't block Maleficent from blocking Prince Charming, but if Prince Charming is removed, then Maleficent can't block him. However, he was required to stimulate Aurora, so no spikes can be made. So I minus and E minus is under no spikes. Finally, in a mutant where S, or the blue fairy, is removed and K, Maleficent, is removed, the green fairy cannot block Maleficent, but since Maleficent isn't there, Prince Charming, or E, is able to stimulate Aurora and spikes can be made. So, mutant S and K create spikes. This pathway shows us that genes are not always stimulated and transcribed, which helps us explain why spiny beetles have some ectoderm cells that are smooth and some that have spikes. For example, they may not want spikes on their stomach, but they may want them on their back for protection. So the ectoderm cells on the stomach may be one of these mutants.